Good morning, old chap. It is the day for the event timeline of the Origin of Wind event in DML. So, of course, we will be getting this event very soon. In fact, it's going to be starting on January 31st, so just before the new month. And this is going to go through everything to expect during the event, all of the changes, how every dragon will be available to collect, and it seems that our initial thoughts are correct regarding Pokra and Lozra being available during different weeks in the altar. But either way, we will be going through this now, because that's the best way for us to understand this. You can see Nullvind, you can see the board, and you can see the new chess. So here's the event timeline. Dragonland Hero is healing thanks to the emergency efforts of the Shadow Ancients. And what better way to celebrate than hosting a race for flying dragons? But as always, trouble is brewing, so Ned and I you must once again travel back to the past to unravel the tentative unity of human and dragon, join their adventures in the brisk Origin of Wind event starting January 31st. So it's the 21st today, which does mean that it will be starting on Monday the 31st. So that's like a couple of weeks from now. But either way, from the 31st is when Dragon Board will begin. So roll the dice and move around the board to unlock chests and collect dragons in the main event of the Origin of Wind. So of course this is the regular Dragon Board that we've seen many times before. If you need to see what it's like before the event, you can easily see any of my previous event guides on it. But we've got rare dice chess reward. Each unlocked chess will provide event currency to spend within the event. Epic dice chess reward. This time you'll find something new and different in these chess. Silver horns are not only loud, but valuable as well. Exchange this new event currency for useful rewards in the ancient market, or even for the brand new swift pixie dragon. So we can't get pieces for an epic dragon anymore out of the chess board reward chess. Instead, we're going to be getting silver horns, which are going to act like holy talismans for these dragons in a way. We'll see a little bit more about that when the event comes out. And then ancient dice chess rewards. Fovan dragon pieces and enchantment materials with the ancient dragon guaranteed after 220 opens. Once the dragon is unlocked, this chess will provide extra enchantment materials. So Fovan, I believe, is that fire dragon, and so that does mean that he's going to be the main board reward dragon, which may be a good or bad thing, depending on how easy you find the event or how often you can log in, but he is guaranteed after 220 opens still, so that is something to remember. Trade Offer. Tap the shiny new Trade Offer icon to exchange your event currency for rare, epic, and ancient Dragon Board chess, as well as double trouble points. Should you want to spend less time rolling the dice, the number of goods received is always the same. And this, again, is the thing I'm worried about, because if you'd have just rolled, you may actually receive more than this Trade Offer gives you, so I'm not sure if this is actually going to be a good addition or not, or if it's actually just going to screw people over during the event. We'll see for sure when it comes out, but this is something I'm not really too sure about, and I'm not too keen on. Double Trouble Battles. Breeze through the story of the Origin of Wind with the Double Trouble Battles. Score double rolls of the same number within the Dragon Board event to advance the Double Trouble meter and defeat challenging battles to collect ancient tickets and unlock the final reward, the returning ancient Oira. So this does mean that there is an Ancient available in Double Trouble, which is actually kind of neat. And Oira is a dragon that I personally need, so for anyone else that needs it, Double Trouble is going to be a big thing this time for a lot of players, I, I can imagine. And then we've got the Ancient Market. So collect silver horns from the epic dice chests and spend them in this market on relics, enchantment mats, and other goods, even dragons. The Greener Gate dragon will be available, but you can also unlock the Ally of the Wind Ancients, the new Swift Pixie Dragon. With the introduction of these new features, the bingo cards have been removed. So no more bingo on board. We did already know about that. And then we've got the Ancient Altar. So collect and use holy talismans found inside ancient chests to unlock powerful new dragons. So Halmy and Nolvind, so that is the Plant Wind and the Void Wind Dragons, the new Wind Ancients will be available through the event. In the first two weeks of the Origin of Wind, the returning Fire Ancient... Pokra will be available again in the altar. Starting from February 14th, Pokra will be replaced with another returning ancient, Luzra. So, 
Essentially, Pokra is going to be a difficult one to get and is going to force a lot of dungeon grinding and spending. Luzra is also probably going to be quite difficult to get your hands on if you don't already have it, but it is in the final weeks, so at least you've got more time to save up currency. But the first two weeks, Pokra, second two weeks, Luzra. Remember that. Then we've got Ancient Collection. So hatch and place the three new Wind Ancients, Fovan, Halmy, and Nullvind to unlock Venchu. So of course Venchu is the main reward dragon, it's the exception Divine Ancient, it has the highest stats, just like Glom, just like Enroja, just like those other big dragons. Then we've got some mini events, so we've got a boss challenge, beat all the bosses to complete rounds, collect windstones and unlock the main prize. So January 31st to February the 7th, get the fearsome brand new Laohu dragon, and February 21st to the 28th, unlock the broad-beaked hornbill. So it looks like we're getting two boss challenge events during this, one during week one, and then one during, uh, that looks like the final week of the event. And then Desolation Station. Catch and place the Swift Pixie, which is the new dragon, Orange Wing, and Laser Hammer Dragons before the event ends to unlock the legendary Wasteland Dragon, so that's a returning legendary. Country Craze, Cake Craze from Feb 7th to 14th, Collect ingredients, bake cakes, and unlock milestone rewards and windstones with the proud Patriot Dragon as the main prize. So there are going to be windstones in there. And then one to Dragon solo event. Go on a solo adventure to collect windstones and unlock the Jade Dragon. So they're also a returning dragon. And then we have Blitz Breeding because this is going to be during Valentine's Day and everything like that because obviously February... So, Love is in the Air, February 7th to 14th. Match the Hearts Dragon and the Patriot Dragon to breed the Valentine Dragon. And then 14th to the 21st, match the Posh Dragon and Potion Dragon to breed the Puzzle Dragon. Feb 21st to 28th, match the Earth Spirit Dragon and the High Priestess Dragon to savor the flavor of the Blueberry Dragon. So that's going to require that Dragon of the Month. And then Special Ancient Dungeons. Each week through the Origin of Wind, we'll be running special editions where you'll find ancient tickets inside every chest. That's normal at this stage. And then there's going to be a catch-up dungeon. You'll have a second chance to finish off any dragons that you may be missing. So it's got Halmy, Nolvin, Fovan, Lozra, Pokra, and Earth Spirit Dragon pieces. But do not ever guarantee, or don't ever leave it until the catch-up dungeon to try and get yourself a dragon because... Catch-up dungeon is very random, and the pieces it gives are usually very low, unless you get really lucky, but it's much better if you try and dungeon grind rather than relying on catch-up dungeon, as in dungeon grinding during the other weeks, don't rely on catch-up dungeon. I mean, do, it, do so at your own risk, but it's not a good idea usually. Usually you'll end up missing out if you're like, even say 20 pieces away, you won't always get them. So that's my warning to you. So all things considered, it sounds like an old school Dragon Board event, an event that we've seen many times, except the main thing is that the epic dragon pieces are now gone, and instead we've got like two sets of talismans in a way. And at the same time, we do also have the ancient available, Oira, in Double Trouble. They haven't mentioned anything about a different Ancient being available by when you finish collecting um, Venchu, there's another Ancient available, so I'm not sure if they've removed that or not. But having the ability to get Oira again is also fantastic for players like myself that never got it before. So there's a lot of dragons that are returning in the upcoming event. And I mean, in terms of the Ancients that I've got, for example, I'm missing quite a few of them, but Pokra returning is going to be a really big one for a lot of people because lots of people need Earth, lots of people need Fire to finish off their dungeon teams, and they need Ancient, so Pokra is a really good option. Oira does have water, but the energy is also useful. It's not quite as essential as some other elements, but Oira is still a useful dragon if you put the right sigils on it. And Luzra unfortunately does have that shadow element which is a little bit eh. It does have light as an AoE which is still useful. There is Lozra. But I don't know. Lozra, I just don't like light ancients as much as I like fire. Well just light, light users in general compared to fire dragons for dungeon use. Like light in itself is better for say arena 
and dealing more damage because not many things resist light. Whereas lots of things resist fire, but that's sort of the reason why I like it, because in the dungeon we've got those weak attack quests, and if you have a fire user, you can get those done really nice and quick. Especially because it is AoE. So you're going to be hitting multiple targets at once, and especially during fire dungeon weeks, that means that you're probably going to end up clearing those quests super easily. The problem is if your only area of effect user is a light dragon, because in that case, you're probably going to struggle with those quests quite a lot. So, even though it's possible to do them still, get all those weak attack quests done, it's just going to take longer, and any time I think about the dungeon having to take a longer amount of time, you know, it's going to be a pain. So keep all of that in mind. I would say the main dragons that people are going to want from this event are of course going to be Venchu, because of his base stats being insane. At the same time, a lot of people are going to be going for that Pokra dragon, probably, and Oira. It's mainly the Earth dragons and the, the water dragons that people are going to want, usually. And having both a water ancient and an Earth ancient coming, honestly speaking, if only one of those two was a divine instead, they'd actually be really good on a single team. Because you'd have earth, you'd have fire, and you'd have water and energy. That would be pretty insane, right? But I wouldn't really recommend putting both of them on the same team, because you need two divines in a team if you want really consistent dungeon runs. But if, say, one of them is your fourth team member for the dungeon, you could always use both of them in that situation. But overall, you know, it's the same Dragon Board as before, just with some slight changes. No more reliance on Bingo, thank goodness, because I sort of hated Bingo, because it did just feel like they were trying to force you to waste event currency, hitting numbers that you didn't have any reason to hit. It really was not an interesting or fun mechanic. I don't know if that's just me speaking about that, but the bingo as a whole, it did give new dragons for people, or returning dragons for people I should say, but at the same time it was just such an annoying mechanic, so I'm glad it's gone, however they need to make sure that they've balanced the amount of currency that we can get to make up for the fact that bingo has been removed. If they haven't accounted for that properly, then we may just end up with a close to impossible event. Because all of the currency that we could get from Bingo needs to be accounted for and added to either the additional events or just given in some easy way to make up for the fact that it's been removed. Like, if they just don't give us that currency, then this event is just going to be much, much harder than it used to be. Which I'm certainly hoping is not the case. <laughs> I've been proven wrong before on that, so we will have to wait and see about that one. But, uh... Yeah, in general, I'm feeling okay going into this ancient event. You know, we won't fully know what to expect until we actually see it as a, every event. But from the news that we've gotten, and for this update, it sounds pretty normal. But there's chances to get a returning ancient, well, a few returning ancients, three of them even. So let me know what you think. Does it sound okay? Do you understand everything that's going on? I know it's a lot of reading, but considering we've played these events a few times now, you know, we can just remember, ah oh, yes, that, that event type. Ah oh, yes, that, that Dragon Board bit. And then the catch-up dungeons and everything. We already know what catch-up dungeons are, but they're like, ugh, I don't like those either. But anyway, I guess I will skedaddle for now. We know pretty much everything that's going to be going off during the event now. We've got the full schedule, so you know what to expect every week. The only question is, can you get every dragon, or which dragons are you actually going to be going for? Pokro is going to be a big pickup for a lot of people, but, you know, I could say that eight times and people would still pick a really bad one. So, it's pointless me saying it 800 times. But anyway, for now, I appreciate you being here, and until next time, I do hope to see you then.